Hello, my friends. How is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic. Yep. Excited to be here with you for another project. What are we going to do today, you say? We don't see nothing here. Well, let me show you. We're going to do this. I'm not one into dragons and skulls and stuff like that, but this has a special meaning. My son and I watched an anime called The Shield Hero. This is a little different than his shield, but it's a shield. And it reminded me of my son. Because, you know, all his games and stuff, they have all this dragons and stuff like that. I don't even know what else you call it. Dragons and, what's it called? Dungeons and Dragons. That's what it's called. But my son and I watched the anime and I thought this would be cool. He's leaving. Y'all know that I have 11 days. 11 days. I cry off and on. Again, I know that it's for the good, the best that he's going. It's going to make a man out of him. It's going to make himself proud as well as his dad and I. And he's going to be doing something for his country. But that didn't make any difference in the pain of my heart. None of that makes any difference in the pain of my heart. And it hurts. And... I said on another video, you might not have heard it, but I'll say it again. The demographics prove that most of you guys are my age. So you've probably already been there, done that, and you know it hurts. And nothing anybody said or told you made that pain any better. And that's where I'm at. And everybody's like, oh, it's going to be okay. He's doing this. I know all that. I know. But that is not a word takes that pain that I feel in my heart. Or that night I get in my stomach or that frog that gets in my throat. None of that changes. You know what I mean? So let's get on with our our project. Here it is. It's kind of a nice size. Uh, it's about eight inches, I guess. No, oh, maybe 10. Here, you know what? Let's not guess. Let's measure it. From there to there is nine and a half. Oh no. Almost 10 inches. And it is Seven inches wide. Nice size, huh? I love to get nice size molds. So what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to attempt to do with it, is use these chameleon powders. Now, they're generic ones. I looked online at other ones, but the expense for $20 or so for a name brand was not necessary. Not when I have these generic ones. There's tons of generic ones out there. And I'm sure they work just as fine as the other name brands that I just said I can't afford $20 right now. So we're going with what I got. And I have a green. Green is most important. Not that I'm going by this. I, I copied this because I have a hard time seeing what I need to, what goes with what. You see like here where his wings go in with the baby dragon, I guess. That's a baby dragon. That's a mama dragon. So I just want to make sure I separate everything appropriately. And then I need a different color to go around the side. So let's go with the green wings. That's the first thing I'm going with since I know it. And y'all are welcome to fast forward this if you'd like. Or you can stay along and join me. Let's see what happens. What do we do here? I've never really done a chameleon powder project. Not like this. I mean, I've put it in... Actually, I don't know that I really put it in anything. <laughs> I had it on standby. Oh, well, you know what? I have when I, the number generator generated it. But as far as me picking it, no. It looks good, huh? I'd like to know if there's a difference in this generic and name brand. I have a... The Chameleon Flakes by Let's Resin. I don't feel like making a mess today. And I've seen everybody else use them. And they just seem like they're very messy. I wish I'd have seen people use them before I bought them. Because I would have bought the Chameleon Powders instead. I don't want to be making a mess. You know? No mess for me. I think I'm doing good. There. We got green. We got a green wing. And the 
rest of the colors, I'm going to have to do something on the side so I know what colors they are. Actually, I'm going to grab a mold so I can see what color they look like before I put it on my dragon shield. Yeah, my son and I watch. That's our one of our ways that we connect. We watch anime together. I know y'all probably thinking, what? Anime? Some of you might not know what anime is. It, to me, I call it adult cartoons. But they have great stories. They really do. I mean, most of them are uh, adult, for sure. And they're very risque. But I would never have thought that um, that they would have stuff like that. But they have. So I need to do down in there, too. I think. Maybe not. That's going to be colored by whatever I go around the outside with, huh? Yep, yep, yep. So I don't need to do that. I need to do these pieces. Okay. Well, we got one color down so far. I don't know what else I want to put there. Can't think of much. Okay, dokie. Now let's go with. Oh, let me do this. This is what we're gonna do. Oh, <laughs> I was rolling on my chair and I just kind of rolled out of out of control. So yeah, look, I'm gonna put the color in here so then I know what it looks like. Huh. Oh. These are by Colorful, I think. No. Um, I don't even know. Acurin. Uh, Acurin. I don't know, y'all. I'll link it because I got it from uh, see Amazon. All right, so that's pretty colored. So let's do, I'm going to do the outside in that color because I like that color. Or should I do this? Let's see what my other colors are. How about that before I start deciding? Mm. Oh, this is a cool color. You know, you really can't tell from the outside. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, Y'all can tell I haven't used them. Mm. Now, I'm going to apologize now. My whole family is up and at them. They, I have the sign up that I'm recording, but sometimes it's not seen. I, everybody respects my, my time, my recording time. They just forget to check the sign. Especially when they're, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. So that one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there. I like this one. This one's, I thought, pretty. I'm sorry I didn't have these red. Oh! I didn't have these red. Look what I did. I pushed that thing down in there. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna get another white. Can't stay in the mess and be all over the place if you don't get it when you first do it. And you don't wanna make a bigger mess when you can take two seconds to pick it up, right? So I've always been told anyway. Ooh, that is as pretty as I thought. I got a whole bunch more too. But these are the colors I thought were <laughs> like a glistening behind the scenes. Y'all, I am just a glistening. I like this one too. This is definitely dragon color, I think. Yeah. Look at that. So I got pretty colors to use, and we already used the green. Okay. So let's dra let's color the dragons this color. This is going to be dark red purple 
So let's do, oh, I got green down in there. Start on the other side first. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I'm not into dragons and skulls. Oh, I, don't. I mean, I'll do. I got the uh, the big skull head. I just haven't done it yet. Oh no. I'm trying to think of something to put in it. I should have done it at Easter with jelly belly. Oh, that's sacrilegious, I'm sure. All right, y'all. I hear somebody pulling in the driveway. I believe that would be the father. Sam, I am. I am your father. If you've never seen Star Wars, that's off the Star Wars. Again, my son, we watch a lot of, a lot of stuff like that. You know, with me being sick, that was a, our bonding time. We weren't doing soccer or schoolwork, you know. We were watching our shows. I like this, y'all. Yep, I hear him coming in. I'm going to pause you for a second. All right, my friends, I am back. I have finished. I went ahead and finished it. I mean, y'all didn't need to watch me dust it, right? We know how to dust. We sure Lord knows how dust gets in our house, don't we? Yeah, I'm just playing. we got to dust this, different type of dusting, yeah. You had to use the paintbrush and dust if you didn't see the beginning of the video. All right, I have mixed up 12 ounces of uh, Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. Really good resin. Highly recommend it. And now I'm just pouring it in. I like the colors, how they turned out. And you guys think I did good? good choices. Look, I wasn't too far off. I was going to do 10. I think 10 would have been the number. Oh, no, maybe not. It's going, y'all. It's going, it's going, and going. <laughs> it took 12 ounces. How do you like me now? All right, all right. I did it, I did it. That's cool. I love it. I'm not moving it. I was going to put it on the resin curing plate, but oh no. It's not getting one little tap. Because I'm telling you, it is there. But I did it. Yep. I put a little heat on it. Quickly and efficiently to pop those bubbles that I stirred up. There, isn't that pretty? I mean, for dragons, that's beautiful. You like it? I hope so. I'll be back. We will let it do its thing while we're away, but you'll never know it. I'll be back. Hello, my friends. I'm back. I got our cured shield from the Shield Hero. No, I'm just playing. That's the show we watched, my son and I. If I didn't say it before, and even if I did, I'm just going to say it again. Because that's my baby. That's my son. That's my buddy. Anyway, so I was thinking when this was almost cured, I'm sure. I was sitting there doing my infusion, laying in the bed, watching some YouTube. And I went, oh, I forgot. you got to use black behind chameleon powders to get the best effect. Shikes, I forgot. I did. Oh, so I was kind of thinking, what can I do to resolve this? First, I came out here and I put latex all on the silicone all around that. 
had all my fingers, got everything cleaned up. So it was ready to roll. I was gonna take black spray paint, spray paint the back, then pull the latex off and wouldn't have ruined my silicone. I thought, man, I don't want to spray paint. I don't want to have to go outside. I just don't want to have to spray paint. So I thought, and you know, this is really quite perfect for me because I don't really like just, just this. I came up with doing something else with this. How about this new mold that I have that I haven't used? Isn't that beautiful? Yes, I think so. And look, I went around all around the outside with the same color that I did around this outside. And look, it fits in there like a dream. A dream, I mean, I can't explain it. It's just like a dream. It looks like it's not going to, but as soon as I take it out of this mold, it's gonna fit right in there perfectly. I mean, how cool does that look? This cobblestone look with the shield, I think it just goes perfectly together. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this pouring party started. Okay, I've already mixed up 16 ounces of ClearCast 7000, and I put in some eye candy, some Kokio Black. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm rolling with it. Kokio Black from eye candy. That's all you need to know. Black paste from eye candy. That's what you need to know. So when you go to order it using the link below with the coupon, just look for black paste. You'll find it. All right, let's take this out of the mold. I'm anxious to see what it looks like, even though I didn't use black behind it. And I really hope that I'm making up for it by putting it in this in the black. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, it looks all right, but it's going to look real good behind the black. See? I mean, I like the colors I went with and everything. I just really hope when this is on black. Here, look. It looks better just being on the black this that's what that's the only way i can think to save my piece so that's what we're doing that's my story and i'm sticking to it so i'm going to pour in just a little bit of this enough to i don't know what in the world that is <laughs> this cup has uh been used several times but that's the beauty of it you can. I probably made up a lot more than I needed to. I just don't like to be without. I will always find something to put it in. And I didn't even mix the whole, what did I say, 16 ounces? 14 ounces. Whatever I mixed up. I didn't put it all in there. For the simple fact, in case I don't need it all. Yeah, this mold is cool. Um, Timu. That's where I got it. That store is dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. I'm going to stand up. Wow, but I think over here it's to the rim, but down there it isn't, so I guess it's cut off somewhere. Let's make that corrected. Love it. Not much back here is needed. I'm going to find something to put this in. Which I've got a million molds that I haven't even used. I don't know what is wrong with me. I have an obsession with them. I'm not lying. I've Got a lot of stuff to get done for y'all, that's for sure, or with y'all. There we go. Oh, it looks a little more on this side, doesn't it? Oh, I can't really move it too much. It's probably because of the ripples. That's close. 
Huh. That looks better. That's what I'm going with. I'm not touching it again because it is like to the top. I'm just going to keep checking for bubbles, coming back and doing that. should always do that. Don't just leave it, pour it, walk away from it. Come back and check on that sucker. Get the bubbles. All right, guys, I think it looks a lot better already with Behind the Black. I know you guys are going to agree because you were probably screaming, No, Sam, you got to use black. You know that. You know that, you silly girl. So guess what? I'm back, and I use black. So, I hope I am redeemed. Do you forgive me for making you scream? Just kidding. Okay, so I will be back in the morning for you. It'll be just a second. I'll be back. Hello, my friends. I'm back, obviously. And our piece is finished. It looks fabulous. I'm so glad we decided to do this. I really, really am. I, I couldn't have asked for a shinier black that looks so pretty. That is my eye candy. Coca-yo-yo. Coca-yo-yo. This is, you know, I'm totally shredding these names that eye candy has given us. But I think he travels a lot and that's where he gets these names. Coca-yo-yo. Coca-yo-yo. I don't know. It sounds like a rooster or something. Okay. So we're going to take this mold out, off, let's see what we got. That is beautiful. I wish the other back, the back was the groovy, or the, this was the groovy. Ready? Let's see what the back looks like. Or here, let's look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And then I love the little bit of um, mica that floated up in the black. And this looks so much better than it did without the black. I will remember, you have to use, well, you need to use black behind your mica so it pops. You want it to pop. And that's what it's doing. It's popping. And this is the back. That looks amazing. I really, really like that. That turned out very good. So... That's another one for the history books. We did it. I think my son will love this much. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, I'm totally being distracted. I'm sorry. There's people moving around me. I need to put on the hanger. Yes, I do. I want this to hang. Now, you know what? That's too thick. If I did a chain, can y'all see this? Yeah. If I did a chain, it would look like, you know, like back in the day and the... Uh, I don't know what days you call it. You know, when they had blacksmith and stuff and they had the signs hanging outside their shops. That would look cool. But, I'm going to have to drill into this. And that's really thick. But I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to do it with the drill. I, I just, just really can't show y'all. Because I can't do it one-handed. And I'm going out into my dad's shed. It's top secret in there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't know, y'all. What do I want to do? Friends, what do I want to do? I mean, I got black chain. That would just look fabulous. All right. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me think. I'll put you on hold. Hello, my friends. We have moved to the daddy's shed. After multiple trips to and from the art room, I believe I have everything that we need so I can show you how to drill this with the Dremel. I'm sure you may know or you may not. I'm going to show you. Anyway, I was thinking, how am I going to mark something on black? Thought, chalk. Yeah, I got a lot of chalk. So that's what I went with was the yellow. I'm getting ready to drill. If it's too loud for you, go ahead and mute it now because I'm coming in. All right, put it down on there, hold it firmly in place, and notice I'm doing it on the back. I'm also doing it on wood. I got it through, so now I'm going to kind of go around and make this hole a little bigger. Sorry, I'm blocking you. 
See how I'm just kind of going around with it? And I'll show you why when you see the hook. I don't know why this is still a little gummy. I think it might not quite be uh, cured on the back all the way. But that's okay. I'll get that off. No worries. All right, here we go with the second one. They're lined up. Can you see this one? I hope so. All right. There we go. Down and around we go. There it stops. Nobody knows. There it stops. Okay, there we got our holes. Are they big enough? I don't like this one. This one's not big enough. I can't really see what these goggles and mask one. Hold on, I'll show y'all what I look like. Because I want y'all all to look like this when you use your Dremel. Hold on. Don't be scared. Ta-da! Ain't that beautiful? I don't care if you are a swimsuit model. You are not going to look good or sexy in this uniform. See, I got my apron on. Got my gloves on. That's really important when you're sawing, I mean, drilling into resin. You don't want that stuff in your lungs or up your nose. Okay, that's just what I wanted to tell you, what I wanted to show you. I'll be back in the art room with our piece. Okay, I got our holes drilled out. This is ready to go. And I'm all a little straggle there. Oh. I'm just making sure this is all kosher dough pickle and it's good. So I have these two hooks. Oops. These two hooks. And I am going to put them in. Like so. Oh, y'all know what? Oh my God. I hope I didn't go too far down. I'm going to come up with another plan. Another type of hook. Oh, y'all. I forgot to measure this. You know what I mean? So the hook will come up. Well, I can't even hook it in the hole. Jeez. The last one I did, I just did get it. I mean, just did get it. I didn't have a centimeter to move. <gasps> it did! It worked! Yeah, you know, I was worried that I wouldn't have enough room for it to come through and be up here. Does that make sense? But it did! The resin guys were on my side. I can get this one in there. There we go. Do I got that going the wrong way? Yeah, I want it going backwards. That's much easier, right? How come that doesn't look right? Which way looks right, y'all? This way or this way? This way. That looks funny the other way. Okay. I did it right. Did it right the first time. Okay. Then I got our chain. It's about, oh, uh, no guesstimating. We can measure it. I didn't measure it. I just eyeballed it. And it is 13 inches. A little more than 13 inches. That's okay. We don't need exact. I don't think. <laughs> I think we can figure it out. Just go from one end to the other, right? And I think. What I did with the last one is I just included the chain with the picture. But this one, I could actually close in the thingamajobbers, right? So it'll stay. Maybe that's what I should do. How about that's what we do? Let's try that. So you take these, your needle nose, and you just Take and you squeeze. I'm gonna try. It might be too hard for me. It is. It's too hard for me to squeeze. And I don't want to scratch up my hook. So I will just include it in a little bag like this. This little bag. I'll just put it in there and I'll tape it on the back. But I'm giving it to my son. What am I talking about? Yeah. I just gotta carry it in from point A to point B. Yeah. I think he's gonna love it. Do you love it? You know what I'm going to ask for. Can I get a thumbs up from you? Telling me you love it. And while you're there, consider sub subscribing. It doesn't cost you a thing, but boy, it sure helps me a lot in my channel. I want others to see my projects, to learn what I got to tell them. 
they could pick up when I'm laying down. I would absolutely love to have other people join me and join you so we can all party together. That's right. A little bit of business. I have three contests going on. Yep, three. All the details are down in the description. I'm going to run through them. We have the like, subscribe, comment contest. That's all you have to do is like, subscribe, send me a comment telling me that you did so. If you don't send that comment, then I won't know. That's the three requirements for the contest. Like, subscribe, comment. Okay, contest number two is the honorary name, honorary color with your name program. Yep, you can have your own honorary color on my channel. I've had quite a few people already get their own color on my channel. If you make a PayPal donation, then I will give you a color that's in the choice of your family color choice, color family choice. In other words, if you tell me you want a dark pink, I'm going to try and find a dark pink that will work for you. More than likely it'll be eye candy, but that's neither here nor there. Actually, it's here. So I will do that for you. And I will have contests with those colors or with those honorary names. Right now I have the joy box. Your name goes in the joy box when you first get a color. Then if I use your color any other time, if it's generated or I pick it, then you go in the joy box again. This is the contest where I, once I get to 15 entries in the contest, then I'll pull a name. The, the prize for this is a mold that's got the tariffs in it and it's a clock and it's really cool. I forgot to mention the prize for the like, subscribe and comment. That is the uh, Just For Just Resin Ocean Basic Pack of Pigment Paste really nice i accidentally ordered two rather than send it back i decided to do a giveaway with it sorry i gotta swipe this away okay then the third and final contest is if you would like to support the channel and there's quite a few ways you can do that <clears throat> first you can use one of my affiliate links down below there's quite a few for you to choose from to get your supplies there's also a coupon code for most of them uh you can Get some of your supplies that you haven't used. Of course, I don't want worn and no good supplies, stuff that you've maybe got and you decided you're not gonna use it or you'd like to see me use it, see what I can do with it. Write me an email and I'll send you my address. Um, the third way is, what is the third way? Hold on. Oh, my Amazon wish list. How am, my Samazon wish list. How can I forget that? I need to write them down evidently. Cause I don't like asking for things. That's what the problem is, but it all goes to support the channel. And nowadays with the price of everything, any support that you can offer is really, really helpful. And I just, I'm going to turn around and give it back to you guys. The fourth and final way is you can buy me a sweet tea, buy me a gallon of sweet tea on PayPal. And right now you would be getting double whammy if you make a PayPal donation for the honorary color on my channel and then you'll get in the entry of showing some support so you get into two contests two of one and the prize for this is a bath board a bath board no bathtub board to go on your bathtub fancy schmancy people use them they put the roses on them they read a book on them whatever that's what that is it's a mold for it. it's about uh two and a half feet long about uh, almost a foot wide really really nice project i mean mold boy am i just struggling today for words i don't know what the deal is anyway four great contests all the details are down in the description since i've totally been wonky with giving the instructions that is all for me i really hope you enjoyed the project today i certainly enjoyed my time with you as usual i love you i mean it i'll see ya Bye.